death to a lot yeah. of teams this early on mm. pre-10 minutes. Rarely happens. Yeah, rarely happens as well. Well, I don't know. MPL MY is a little whack. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why. That's why it explains how Kodak is just through the roof now. Look, even Yumski wow. deals more damage than Harley. I'm surprised that Moon is top of the charts. He's well, kind of killing it. It's the terrifying. AOE, the a it's terrifying. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It, he, he's in everybody's faces, right? Uh, so given how far Moon has taken this and how much gold Rival is farming, this is also surprising, right? Because mm -hmm. if I'm not oh. mistaken, he's also taken away even... MBG's jungle. Yeah, yeah, they're invading pretty often here. Are they gonna sacrifice the tier two? But oh. the good seal. Divine Judgment gonna come out on Prince Fran and the Retribution, but still, they are gonna just push them off. They don't want to do the Lord. There's there's yeah. nothing left for Prince Fran. He's more like a popper. Mm. And speaking of popping, Dragon! The Peruvian Dragon! More like the Peruvian Lizard! Just got popped. So it's, it's tough. So again, I presented one alternative. Dragon should buy a part of the map, right? So yeah. the rest of them can try to farm up, give items to Harley and Joe crew. Mm -hmm. But it's so hard when Todak knows that they're that much ahead that they can Divine Judgment Dragon and tell right. Yeah, and they also know that they don't need the Lord. The next yeah. inhibitor is about to fall. They are just naturally stronger. Oh, Steffi gonna get caught in a bad position here. Falls oh. into the jungle and now Joel crew I don't think he can get back to base in time here. He's going to get Just chased run. down. Momo coming in flashy no. style with the <laughs> flicker. Not even needed here, but Joel Crew still on the run. Yumsi going to dash in here. This is one way to do it. This is one way to do it. Say what you will. Joel Crew was going to die anyways, but he bought what? A solid 10, 15 seconds. Uh, 10, 15 seconds, but it's still it's still rough. I mean, they're not taking Lauren. If Todak wants to end this game, they just take Lauren. They just run it down, yeah. and they can pretty much force a fight guaranteed underneath the crystal of MVG. I'm looking at a threshold of maybe 15 minutes. But if, <laughs> if, if, if MVG can at least try to conserve themselves and stay alive up until 15 minutes, have at least maybe one more core item on Harley and Joel crew? Yeah. Maybe. But that's the thing, like, who is your saving grace here for MVG, right? Harley, Joel crew? Joel crew is so far away from oh! that. Harley, though, able to survive just oh! a bit. Oh, oh! 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 Chiku, guys, from the backside. Oh! Now they're gonna find Joel crew as we were just talking about him. They fall here and another one goes down. Four fall again for MVG. And there's nothing Dragon can do here to defend. It's a maniac for Chiku, guys. GG, well played. Game goes to Todak here as they're able to score their very first point here in Group B. Wow, what a game. How many times in this game was Dragon dragged? It, it, it came to that point wherein the Uranus has maybe two main jobs. As the Lord might just go in the hands of a Burn X Flash, Zip X though. No one there to contest this one. It's looking rough for Falcon as this Lord continues to be whittled down here by Burn X Flash. Another flicker gonna go out. Yellow Flash oh, falls though. I'm your ATM with another pickup. And just like that, Burn X Flash back in this game. Highway robbery. I'm calling highway robbery. That was clearly Falcon's oh. Lord. But the way that Burn responded, they're not done. Oh. Oh, they're still going back and forth here. But this looks like the disengage call from Burn X Flash. They're going to go ahead and reset and march down with the Lord. Man, both of these teams not really giving each other an inch. And Ken, unfortunately, making... Well, I, I can't even blame him. It's not really that no, his no, no, fault. No, no. It's yeah. Z-Cat's great timing exactly. on the uh, the resurrect. When as soon as the immortality pops, yeah. it's just boom. Anal gone. Analysis paralysis, part two electric boogaloo again. <laughs> it's that same situation, right? So what do I do? Do I stop the Eve? Do I find where Hesa is? Because Naomi already pulled the ult. He already did the flicker uh, wild, wild charge, charge right? Yeah. So what do I do next? Well, right now, it, it has to be defense right now. Seacat is pulling this for the team. The box is deadly. And Falcon have to respect it, or at least stop it as early as possible. Well, right now, they're going to lose their tier two here. Now it's Falcon on the defense. Ken, Ken with Tempest of Blades. There's a follow-up there, Chima. Just barely as Ken's able to survive here. It's Falcon fighting for their lives. I'm your AT. I'm going to get pulled a little bit, but quite tanky now on this Fredrin as another turret falls here. 
Falcon oh. has to defend their base. They've already lost the bottom side. They could possibly lose the top one as well. Oh. Naomi goes in with the wild charge. We're a world manipulation, able to find all the targets they need. But it's Justin that grabs oh. the kill. Oh. He's still gonna be alive. Three fall for Burn X Flash. Justin has to be careful here, but it's Chima and D7 on the run. Oh, that was such a fat. That all coming in for all the Zipex. He got so much value out of it. Even actually seeing when when you see Ken jumping into the back lines, less hesitation this time, forcing C Cat to actually get out of there and using the Winter Truncheon super early on into the fight. It's come to the point where Falcon's box is so much bigger than Burn. And oh. it's so much easier oh, no. to activate. Chima There's goes the down. Payback. That's about it. That's oh. going to be it right here as they focus on this mid lane turret. No. Falcon looking to end the game. It's only D7 for now. Falcon Esports looking to take the first game for themselves in day one as they work on the base and take the game. Oh my goodness. And just like that, it's Falcon Esports putting themselves on the board. Congratulations. The Falcon has landed, folks. The Falcon has landed. This is what we were waiting to see. Yeah. I would, I honestly, I feel like this is one of the, so far from day one, one of the closest games we've had. I mean, at this point, Keyboy hasn't really farmed up, couldn't stay in the lane, get the XP, get the gold that he needed. He just could not. And, and you're looking at Rival, who's at level 15, level 14, Keyboy's at 11. Just the base stat growth just made the difference. It really did. And I mean, right now at the 42k mark, they are clearly at an item power spike against Onik, who's at 37. They just need a little bit more time to catch up. But with this Luminous Lord, I don't know. We're expecting to see at least another inhibitor turn or at the very least a 5v5 fight. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, as this Lord marches down on the bottom side, Onik Esports is still, even with this defense, they're going to have their work cut out for them because what you're seeing is just engage after engage. And Kibo, I mean, look how tanky Yuki is. He's going to get dragged with the stampede here behind enemy lines, but should be able to bob and weave out of there. They do oh. lose that mid turret, though. They're not even going to wait for the Lord here as Todak is into the base of Onik Esports. Lord has made its way to the base. They lose that mid lane, and now they're going to lose more resources here, but Momo doing exactly what he needs to do. Kyrie trying to poke down anybody that he can. Lord should go down shortly. They might look to end it here. It's still hitting the base. Tempest of Blade's gonna be popped. Yumski though, quite low. And for now, Onik Esports able to hold on. World-class defense coming up from Onik Esports. Incredible. Oh, run, run, run. And what a clap back. Three for two, and Onik is still breathing. So exactly how did that happen? All right, first up, I think Boots got a solid taunt and put down the members of Todak to a very acceptable level for Kyrie to clean up. Plus the pulls from Sans, who actually is doing great. I'd like to see what Sans is building here. Again, the replay coming up in just a couple seconds here. They were underneath the crystal, so best believe there was a lot of free turret hits, right? So here, look, watch Boots, watch Boots. Oh, they got our Prince's Wrath. You're right. You're right. They have Prince's Wrath really making the difference, chunking out a lot of the members. But even prior to this, the fact that they were pulling the Lord's attention to minimize its damage on the crystal, that making was key. all the difference. That was key. Oh, they're still going to be going for it. It's CW, though, that falls here to Yumski. Now Rival on the hunt for Sans. Can he grab the kill? Gets the Cold Bolter down. Tempest Blade is going to be popped here. And it's Chiku, guys, taking out Kyrie. Going to flicker in and gets Keyboy as well. Todak is looking to end the game here. And a huge match for Onyx, e Onyx Esports. They're doing and now it. they're going to wait for that wave to come in. Weird World Manipulation going to come down. Boots trying to do his best to stall out. But now the wave's gonna be charging in. Todak looking to end the game. Rival focusing on the crystal, and that's it. Todak takes the game against Onyx Esports. Now we have it. Todak winning both their matches here, and they've even taken.